So I just saw this on Reddit. He says, if my sister lives another 70 years and leaves this two cents invested in the S&P 500, how much could it be worth if future trends may make past trends? Okay, let's figure it out. Keep in mind though, we only have two cents, so this right here is going to be fun. And the S&P 500 is just a collection of the 500's biggest company in the US. And you can do a quick Google search. In the past 100 years, the average return rate is about 10.62%. So that's the number we are going to be using as well. 10.62%. But how do we figure this out though? Well, here, we'll use the compound interest formula, which says the amount that we are going to get equals the principal that we have times 1 plus the interest rate r divided by however many times we compound a year times the same end right here and then multiply by t t is the number of years and for this question let's just say n is equal to what now let's just say hmm, it's a simple interest formula each every year we get a 10.62 now let's just throw in all the numbers. This right here equals principal is 0 0.02 times 1 plus r. Change this to decimal, we get 0 0.1062 over 1, which doesn't matter, and then raised to the 1, again doesn't matter, times 70. So enter this on your calculator. I will tell you this right here. Are you guys ready? I'm going to take a guess. Is it going to be a million or well, seven million or well, two thousand dollars? No. Let me tell you, this right here is about twenty-three dollars and forty-one cents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the way though, by the way though, by the way though, it goes from two cents to twenty three dollars so it's about a one thousand times in fact it's a lot more than that right uh, eleven hundred something times yeah twenty three dollars and forty one cents and who knows how much a big man will cost after 70 years right now it's about like what six seven dollars for a big mac burger in 2024 it used to be one dollar when I was working on McDonald's, right, they have like a Monday special, but no more. Anyway, oh, did this answer surprise you?